The world is changing fast, like really fast. The pace of change is almost dizzying, leaving many struggling to keep up. Imagine a high-speed train packed with technological advancements, economic shifts and geopolitical realignments. That's the world today. Every second, new innovations and shifts are taking place, altering the global landscape. And guess what? The West, used to being the conductor, is finding itself increasingly in the passenger seat. This shift is not just symbolic. It represents a fundamental change in global dynamics. For decades, the West, led by the United States, enjoyed a position of unparalleled global dominance. It set the rules, dictated the terms, and led the way in almost every sphere. But the tectonic plates of power are shifting. The once stable ground is now in motion, creating new power centers and alliances. China, with its economic might, technological prowess and strategic ambition, has emerged as a formidable force challenging the established world order. Its rise is not just a regional phenomenon, but a global one. This isn't about declaring a winner or a loser in some grand geopolitical game. It's about understanding the new rules of engagement. It's about recognizing a fundamental reality. The rise of China is reshaping the world as we know it. This transformation is profound and far-reaching. And the West, if it wants to navigate this new landscape effectively, needs to shake off its complacency, understand the dynamics at play, and adapt its strategies accordingly. This is not a swan song, but a wake-up call. Let's go. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Remember the fall of the Berlin Wall? It was a momentous event that symbolized not just the end of a physical barrier, but also the collapse of ideological divisions that had split the world for decades. That marked the end of the Cold War and the dawn of a unipolar world, with the United States standing tall as the sole superpower. The US enjoyed unparalleled influence, shaping global policies, economies, and even cultures. But like all things in history, this unipolar moment was fleeting. The world is ever-changing and power dynamics are no exception the dominance of one nation was bound to face challenges. The rise of China, along with the resurgence of other powers like Russia and India, has ushered in an era of multipolarity. These nations have grown economically, militarily, and politically demanding a seat at the global table. Think of it like a multiplayer game, where several players now have significant influence and the ability to shape the rules of the game. No longer is it a one-player show. The stage is shared by many. This shift from unipolarity to multipolarity has profound implications for the West. It challenges the traditional power structures and necessitates a re-evaluation of strategies and alliances. It means that the West can no longer dictate terms or act unilaterally. The era of unilateral decisions is over, and the need for multilateral cooperation is more critical than ever. It needs to engage in a more nuanced and collaborative way, building partnerships, managing differences, and finding common ground on pressing global challenges. This new era calls for diplomacy, understanding, and a willingness to work together for the common good. Let's talk about economics, the engine room of global power and influence. China, once known as the world's factory churning out low-cost goods, has transformed itself into an economic powerhouse of unprecedented scale. From smartphones to solar panels, from high-speed rail to artificial intelligence, China has become a global leader in manufacturing and technological innovation. This economic ascendancy has given China immense leverage on the world stage, influencing global markets. Think about it. China's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive infrastructure project spanning continents, is being financed and built by Chinese companies using Chinese technology and creating markets for Chinese goods and services worldwide. This is economic statecraft on a grand scale, reshaping global trade dynamics. Remember when Made in China was synonymous with cheap imitations? Well, those days are long gone. China has made remarkable strides in science and technology, emerging as a global leader in fields like artificial intelligence, quantum computing and biotechnology. From launching astronauts into space to developing cutting-edge 5G networks, China is no longer content with playing catch-up. 
It's aiming for technological dominance, investing heavily in research and development, and fostering a culture of innovation. This technological prowess has significant implications for the West, particularly in areas like cybersecurity, data privacy, and intellectual property. The West needs to up its game, investing in its own technological capabilities and ensuring that it remains competitive in a rapidly evolving technological landscape. Section 5. Strategic Investments – The Belt and Road Initiative Imagine a modern-day Silk Road connecting Asia, Europe, Africa and beyond through a network of roads, railways, ports and pipelines. That's the essence of China's Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, a project of unprecedented scale and ambition. The BRI is not just about infrastructure, it's about China projecting its influence, securing access to resources, expanding its markets and reshaping global trade routes. It's a strategic masterstroke that has the potential to reshape the geopolitical landscape. The West, initially dismissive of the BRI, is now waking up to its significance. Some see it as a debt trap, others as an opportunity for collaboration. Whatever the perspective, the BRI is a stark reminder of China's long-term strategic thinking and its willingness to invest in its global ambitions. Section 6. Soft Power Projection – China's Cultural Influence in today's interconnected world, the concept of power has evolved beyond traditional boundaries. Power isn't just about military might or economic clout. It's about the ability to influence and shape global perceptions. It's also about influence, the ability to shape perceptions, win hearts and minds, and get others to want what you want. This is where soft power comes into play, and in the realm of soft power, China is making its presence felt. Through a blend of cultural diplomacy and strategic initiatives, China is extending its reach. From Confucius Institutes promoting Chinese language and culture, which have sprouted in numerous countries to blockbuster movies, showcasing Chinese narratives, capturing the imagination of global audiences, China is actively projecting its soft power globally. These cultural exports are more than entertainment, they are tools of influence. It's using culture, education and people-to-people -people exchanges to enhance its image, build relationships and advance its interests. These efforts are meticulously planned and executed. The West, once dominant in the realm of soft power, needs to recognize the appeal of China's narrative, particularly in the developing world. China's story of rapid development and modernization resonates deeply. It needs to offer a compelling alternative based on values of democracy, freedom and human rights to counterbalance China's growing influence and engage in a more nuanced and sophisticated way in the battle for hearts and minds. This is not just a geopolitical contest but a cultural one where the stakes are incredibly high. Section 7 The West's Miscalculations, Hubris and Strategic Myopia So how did we get here? How did the West, accustomed to being the dominant force in the world, find itself grappling with the rise of China? Part of the answer lies in a series of miscalculations, a mix of hubris and strategic myopia. For too long, the West assumed that its model of liberal democracy and market capitalism was the only game in town, that other countries would inevitably follow its lead. This sense of triumphalism blinded the West to the realities of a changing world. At the same time, the West became bobbed down in internal divisions, economic crises and costly military interventions, diverting its attention and resources from the strategic challenge posed by China. Section 8. A New Era of Global Competition Challenges and Opportunities The rise of China marks a new era of global competition, one that presents both challenges and opportunities for the West. The challenge lies in managing this competition responsibly, avoiding a descent into conflict and finding ways to cooperate on shared global challenges. The opportunity lies in leveraging this competition to spur innovation, promote economic growth and address pressing issues like climate change, pandemics and poverty. Competition, after all, can be a powerful driver of progress. The key is for the West to approach this new era with a clear-eyed assessment of its strengths and weaknesses, a willingness to adapt to a changing world, and a commitment to working with others to shape a more peaceful and prosperous future. Section 9. Charting a path forward, adapting to a changing world order. So what should the West do? How should it navigate this new world order where China plays an increasingly prominent role? First and foremost, the West needs to abandon its outdated assumptions and embrace the realities of a multipolar world. 
This means engaging with China, not from a position of arrogance or fear, but from a position of strength and pragmatism. It means competing where necessary, cooperating where possible, and always upholding its core values. The West also needs to get its own house in order. This means addressing its internal divisions, investing in its economic competitiveness, and rebuilding its global credibility. Section 10, Conclusion, A Call to Action and Engagement The rise of China is a defining moment in history. It's a wake-up call for the West, a reminder that the world doesn't stand still, that power dynamics shift, and that adaptation is essential for survival. This isn't about trying to contain China or turn back the clock. It's about recognizing China's role in the world, engaging with it constructively, and shaping a future where both the West and China can thrive. This is a conversation that requires nuance, understanding, and a willingness to engage with complexity. It's a conversation that I hope we can continue to have. What are your thoughts on the West's strategic approach to China? What challenges and opportunities do you see? Share your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.